greetings to you in Jesus' name. Once again, it's just so good to be with you at Shalom. I want to speak to you about charity. What does charity mean? Charity is another word for love. Charity begins at home. We all know that, um, that cliche. Love starts at home. And you know, some, sometimes the hardest place to be a Christian is at home. Is that not right? That's right, in your very own house to be a Christian. And, but folks, that's where God wants us to start. I want to say to you today, I, I don't know who you are watching this program. Maybe you're a preacher yourself. Maybe you're in full-time ministry. Maybe you're, um, you've got a wonderful youth ministry. Maybe you're a teacher in a school with, with opportunity to speak to the whole school about Jesus. And that is fantastic. And that is wonderful. But I want to say, never at the cost of neglecting your family. Charity begins at home. The only thing that you'll take to heaven with you when you die is your family. All that hard work, all the, 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 the building and the development and your career and your qualifications, okay, all those fancy cars and whatever else you're building, those big buildings, they'll all remain behind. The only thing that'll go to heaven with you will be your children, okay? Will be your loved ones, your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters. We really need to get back to home base. You know, there's that old saying that as farmers say, especially the cowboys, the wheels are coming off at the ranch. If that's the case, we need to get back to the ranch and we need to get them right. We need to start introducing our loved ones to Jesus Christ. If you look at John chapter 1, verses 41 and 42, this is very clear. Listen to this. He first found his own brother, Simon, and said to him, We have found the Messiah which is translated the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now, when Jesus looked at him, he said, You are Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephas, which translated means a stone, a rock. That was Peter. Andrew introduced his brother Peter to Jesus Christ. Andrew is known in the Bible as the introducer. I want to say to you, we need to start introducing our loved ones to Jesus Christ. You know what they say? They say that the, the shoemaker's children are the worst shod. The mechanic's motor car and all the wives who've got husbands who are mechanics are smiling are the worst run. And sometimes, and this is very sad, this is not even a joke, the pastor's children are the worst behaved because we don't look at our own doorstep. And I want to tell you, a lot of people, folks, don't serve God because they see from the outside what's happening on the inside. We are so concerned about taking the splinter out of our brother's eye. And there's a log in our own eye. The same thing applies. We want to convert the world, but at home things are coming apart. There is no good going out there and trying to tell other people how to live when it's not working at home. And we don't do that because we want to have a good reputation. We do that because we want to see our children saved. Friends, the most important thing is to make sure that your own loved ones have got a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Andrew made sure that his brother Peter, who became the head of the church, met the Lord Jesus Christ. The same thing happened with James and John. It was a family concern. Christianity is a family business. It's not a, any other kind of organization. You go to any church, you'll see that the pastor or the minister and his wife and their children and their relatives are probably the core of that church. It happens. So let's make a, a, a pact today with God that we're going to start introducing our loved ones to Jesus. God bless you and goodbye.